Hello, welcome. I'm excited about this video. Um, my friend and I came up with the idea that we should try to fly shot a moonshot using only cockpit view, using only IVA. Not allow. We can't use maps, and we have to use only stock parts. And no mods allowed, no mech jeb, anything like that. So you got to do it all from the cockpit. And uh, this is the ship I built, Harbinger One. Uh, I've got the space plane cockpit here. It has a really good view. There's one other pod that has a good view, but it's uh, it's it's heavier, so this one's lighter. And also, it actually has a slightly easier view. It has fewer uh, kind of bars in the window, I guess. Uh, I've got this these this wide stance for the landing. Um, Section, so it'll be a little more forgiving, hopefully, because uh, my god knows my landing skills are not always as good as they could be. And then uh, down here, I don't know, just got a ton of boosters, uh, asparagus stage, just uh, just to make sure there's enough fuel. I kind of wanted to go lighter and more efficient, but <laughs> well, anyway, that's the least of my worries right now, I think. So I'm excited to see how this turns out. I'm going to try to do it. Let's go ahead and launch in. Uh, one take, and I'm going to not quick save, probably against my better judgment. Uh, I don't know, that wasn't really part of the rules, I don't think, but I guess maybe it was implied. So we'll see what happens. Um, my friend, uh, his channel is uh, Raving Idiot. And uh, you ought to check his video out. I'll put a link to it uh, in the description here. Okay, uh, I'm going to accelerate the clock here, say when, and I'll stop it, just to kind of keep things interesting. All right, nothing fancy going into cockpit view. All right, this will be our home. We won't see anything else for uh, a little while. Gonna, hopefully, this won't take forever. I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible, but we'll see. Throw all up. All right, here we go. A little nervous. Got a little... A little bit of butterflies in my stomach here. Look at all those rockets. Jeez. Um, also, to keep things, um, or for, I guess for an additional challenge, I've decided to, uh, to try. Like, if I see the moon on the way up on my first, you know, right as I'm making orbit, I'm not going to go for it then. I'm going to make at least one, uh, maybe not a full orbit, but I'm going to come around at least once. Because I'm going to try to get my orbits. That, that To me, that's one of the most difficult parts, for me anyway, so I'm going to see what happens with that. And then when I get to the moon, same idea. If I absolutely have to, if something goes wrong, I, I will land directly. But if I can, I'm going to try to get a nice low orbit and then pick my landing spot more or less, like so. So, we'll see. Uh, I think, personally, that it would be really cool to do... Oh, here's a stage. Okay, kill this. That it would be really cool to try docking and stuff, and I know some people have done IVA docking. I don't. I can't even fathom uh, the complexity of that. So, with this limited view, what is that? Okay. I found out you can click on the. If you double click on the cockpit window, it looks through the window. I didn't, I didn't know that before. Start our turn. I'm gonna go to full throttle. I saw there was a mod where you can uh, replace textures and stuff. And so there were some really cool, uh, like milk, high resolution Milky Way type textures uh, that people are replacing there. Oh, oh, yeah, oh this, this rocket is shaking around like crazy. All right, next stage off. So to try for an orbit, I'm gonna shoot for like a. I'd like to do a hundred thousand meter orbit, uh, perfectly circular. <laughs> but obviously, uh, both of those things are not easy, especially the perfect, perfectly circular part. There's a lot of guesswork involved, and I, I, I did a few like quick trials uh, with this ship, uh, which I purposely designed to spin around like this. By the way. It's so unbalanced. Uh, when you start shedding those stages, especially. Uh, I forgot what I was saying, but anyway. It, that's going to happen a lot.
this is the really exciting part of uh, space travel when you're just sitting here waiting for the next thing to do on the edge of your seat. Yeah, we can look around. Throttle. Fire extinguisher. That's probably going to come in handy. Okay. Probably going to turn the engines off here shortly. Whoa. After I hit the stage, of course. I think now's probably a good time. Okay. Uh, let's look around a bit. This is a beautiful cabin. I got my warm, comfy, comfy gloves on. My short, stubby little feet. Uh, okay, so, well, here's the knobs. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm trying to make everybody sick. This is the uh, altimeter based on sea level of the body you're orbiting. This is vertical speed um, in relation to that body. This is the radar alti altimeter, which is accurate to the actual surface, but um, it only works from like 3,000 meters and lower. So by that point, you, you know, you got to be going, you can't be going too fast or it's going to be too late. <laughs> uh, yeah, down here you got your, your heading degrees, almost 90, which is what we're wanting. Uh, this is your nav ball, obviously. I don't have anything, uh, oh yeah, there's these knobs here that do nothing. And there's two switches here that also do nothing. And these latches, I think, would eject me out into space. So we're going to stay away from those. I'll go ahead and get into position here to do another burn. Prograde burn! Okay. They're still climbing pretty quickly here, um, which is okay. Hey, better to be way out of the atmosphere than uh, not high enough up. Right, right, right. Okay. All right. And again, I say okay and all right. That's pretty. Just burn my eyeballs. We're gonna go ahead and throttle up and do our burn. We need to be like a little over 2200 meters per second at this altitude to be uh, in a stable orbit. Hopefully circular. Okay, so we got a little ways to go yet. This will be my most circular orbit ever. All right, here comes 2,000 meters per second. Here comes 2,100 meters per second. Slow down, slow down, back off the throttle. And we'll say there. No, we'll just we'll say there. No, there. No, there. Yeah, there we go, that's perfect. Okay, that's gonna be circular. It's gonna be the most circular thing you ever saw. All right. And let's, uh, might as well figure out where the moon's at. Here on here. Man, I could use like a bobblehead or something. Maybe some dice. Somebody should do a mod like that where you can customize your cockpit. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. It's hard to rotate, so I'm not. Of course, you can't do rotating while you're uh, time accelerating, you doofus. Let's see, maybe I should have put RCS on this thing because I, I can't really rotate very quickly. I can zoom out. Look how wide my view is. I look like I'm piloting an X-wing at this speed. I mean, at this uh, fill of view. I feel like I'm piloting one anyway. All right. Oh man, this thing is so heavy. I mean, so hard to turn around without RCS. Doesn't have enough torque to do the job. I can spin pretty easily. Ooh. We're gonna all get to watch simulated barf. Oh. Where are you at? Let's quit 
this nonsense and find the moon. Alright, stop your spinning. There we go. I'm a regular Neil Armstrong. Or Michael Collins, maybe. He used the uh, command capsule. Dude. That's what they call one another in NASA. Steely-eyed missile dudes. All right, no moon in sight. So I'm just gonna keep, we'll just keep our eye on the horizon. Okay, so like this qualifies. I don't have to do a whole lap around now. Also, if you've noticed, I can make up the rules as I go. Oh, start slowing down. This is gonna be all right. Whoa! Stop it! Stop! 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 Halt and see. Oh, bitter. Oh man. This charming soundtrack does not imply the chaos that is going on. Does not properly accompany. Alright. Now we keep our eye there. I'm going to accelerate. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Oh, per oh we don't have to wait long after all. Alright. So, this, in my experience, has been the trickiest part of this whole thing. Not to pull it off, but to pull it off cleanly is the actual lunar, lunar insertion. All right, let's do this. You stop swaying, you rocket. We'll go to a little over 3,000, maybe 3,100 meters per second. And they kill the engines, then we wait and see. Okay, so we're slowing down. Alright. Now here's that wait and see part I was talking about. So, one way or another we're going to be captured by the moon, but if we can do it in one jump like this, that would be amazing. So we go out. We're revolving around the Earth at this point, too. And so is the Moon. But we're going slightly faster because we're in lower orbit. Hopefully as we get further enough out here, it'll start to catch up to us. See, it looks like I kinda... Wait a minute. See, make sure we're not gonna overshoot gotta keep an eye on these planet these heavenly bodies they'll sneak right past you all right so pretty sure we probably need to kill some speed but I'm gonna play it a little further and see what happens yeah because we're still moving in, away from earth at well over 100 meters per second. So we're not even started to hit our uh, apoapsis yet. Far from it. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to kill some of our kill some of our velocity so as we don't fly out into space. Get hit by a meteorite. Meteoroid. Asteroid. Comet. I could use some lasers on this thing. Some laser cannons. Next stage. <clears throat> Let's see what that does for us. 
Hmm. Let's do a little more. Executive decision. Let's do a lot more. <laughs> okay, I'm convinced. With any luck, we'll be going to the moon. Looking good. And we, there we go. So my computer always locks up for a second whenever we're switching uh, sphere of influence. All right. There we are. We've been captured by the moon. Let's fly. Let's uh, keep an eye on the uh, vertical speed. And when that gets around zero, we're going to do a retrograde burn to try to bring our orbit, uh, or actually achieve orbit around the moon, rather. Meantime, we'll watch this beautiful sight of a giant cratered potato coming toward us. Alright, now that I've kicked off that giant fuel tank, I can actually control this thing a little more easily. Thank God. You can call me anything you like, just don't call me late to the moon. Not exactly. I think I have a polar orbit around the moon. Okay, so there's... Whoa! Okay. So this is our slightly past our lowest point. <laughs> you like that outburst? <laughs> Go ahead and kick in my other engine as well. This is a little bit of guesswork involved too. I'm going I'm to do about 100 and... Maybe about, I'll do about 220, no, I'll do 200 meters per second. And then enjoy some space ice cream on the way down. Mmm. Ah, there. That feels better. I, actually, I think this is an equatorial orbit. It's easy to get disoriented out of here. It's okay, now we're, we're falling in toward the planet. The moon. Rather rapidly. But not more than 294 meters per second. At about 100 it looks like. Alright. And then more of the same. Whenever we get low enough, I'll do it again. Somebody get this boy some clear cell. Uh, one of the weird things about this altimeter is it doesn't have uh, a, a marker for like how many hundreds of thousands of meters you are. So we just know right now we're some hundred thousand and eighty, a hundred and eighty thousand, or it could be two hundred eighty thousand, or it could be just eighty thousand meters high. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna say a hundred and just viewing. It looks like we're about a hundred and. 55. Okay, there we go. So now we're on our way back up again. Not as close as I'd hoped, but I'd like to really graze the surface. I want to bring this in to about 350. 
No, wait, maybe not that far. I'll do about 400. That's close enough. Yeah, this time that's close enough. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that's not nearly low enough. I want to go way lower. Let's see, that's what? About 85, 84,000. Yeah, I think that's about 84,000 meters. <laughs> so our lowest word looks like we're about, yeah, almost 80,000 meters. Let's bring it into 350. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and get our landing gear out in case the worst should happen. That was another thing I noticed uh, when you hit the landing gear button. Sometimes it, the light over here on the cockpit, it doesn't mean anything. It, it, it's its on its own idea of what it means to have the landing gear down. So you can't trust it. So you just got to keep track of whether you've hit it, toggle it on or toggle it off. I even tried setting an action group so that I could have it only... Oh, yeah. All right, we're coming in. Oh, Jesus. You know what? Let's screw this. Let's just... That's about what I wanted. I wanted about 20,000 meters, but I wanted it to be 20,000 and then that's close enough. Not, <laughs> and keep going. Oh. Okay. So there we've done it. So we're about 20,000 meters up, which is exactly what I was kind of wanting. Get a nice view of our landing sites, potential landing sites. And then, uh,. You know, we could circularize or we can just, you know, let's just call this a day. We'll just uh, pick our spot and then go. Let's see. I think our spot will be this light side of the moon. Sound good? Good. With that in mind, let's go ahead and do this thing. Okay, I hit the landing gear button so it's out. It should be out now. If it's not, we'll have some problems. It's all down from here. Not a bad area. We'll put in some condos over here. Maybe a little, little beach house over here. We'll have to put a beach in, of course.
Okay, we won't be seeing much of the surface after a point because uh, it t it costs a lot of time to rotate back and forth, and we don't want our sp our downward speed to become too fast. But right now we can still afford some time to look around. There's a big crater over there. See any Martians? It's a trick question, of course. Man, if I could just get some decoration for this cockpit. Okay. I don't want to get too far above 100 and, 100 and so meters per second at this altitude. Because when we hit about 3,000, that radar altimeter will kick in. But it starts moving pretty quickly once it crosses uh 500 meter mark. It'll catch you off guard. If you're moving too fast, smash. You become moon dust. It's kind of poetic. We're approaching 10,000 meters per second. According, well, that's that's on average sea level, not based on actual surface height. All right, so we're out of those, but I've got to hold on to them because my landing gear is on them. <laughs> So it's about 10,000 meters. We'll get one more glimpse of the uh, surface. And then we got to prepare for our landing. All right, there's your glimpse. Enjoy. That was a nice glimpse. Don't want to get moon dust in our eyes. Okay. Doo -doo. We'll, just, we'll just trickle on down to the surface here. Slowly but steadily. Um, if all goes well, I'm buying ice cream. It's on me. Everybody gets some. And none of this dehydrated crap that they give us. I mean the real deal. Okay, radar altimeter. So we're below thirty or below three thousand meters. Uh, like I said, it's set up so that so watch it. Once it gets to five hundred, it's going to start going really quickly. So we better hit the throttle. Don't get too antsy. Easy does it. With any luck, we won't be on too much of a slope. All right, looks like we're not. Touchdown. Woo! All right, Mr. Kerman, wipe your brow. Oh, you can't. Your hands are glued to your controls here. I forget. Okay. All right. So this is where we're allowed to do actual uh, external view because you got to do this to do an EVA. I was telling my friend it would be sweet if they had a uh, first-person EVA uh, option, so you could do this whole thing. Oh, that's that's the moon. Uh, the moon. <laughs> that's the Earth. Or the Kerbin, rather. 
uh, you could do this full mission in EVA. I mean, in first person, that would be really cool. All right, let's get out of here. I don't even remember your name. Oh yeah, I put this these uh, this ladder on here just to make it, you know. No. Oh no, you're gonna bust your cranium open. I put the ladder on there just so he could do that. All right. <laughs> uh, just so he could have a nice graceful descent, which of course he didn't. And I'm sure that's my fault, right? Uh, but anyway, but it makes the thing off balance, but who cares, you know? We're masters. We're real pros, obviously. All right. Let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wander around and think about what I'm going to put on my flag. Get a couple of jumps in, maybe. You don't come to the moon without doing a few twisty jumps. Twisty jump number one. Twisty jump number two. Oh, he undid that first twist. I go in the opposite way. Very nice, Mr. Cur Mr. Nameless Kerbin. Ker Kerbal. Ker Kerbin. Ker Kerbinman. Okay, he didn't come up with anything interesting. Let's just put, uh... Oh, man, I, I meant to put a cool flag, too, and I forgot. Probably a cool flag of a stupid face or something. We did it! I mean, I did it. I mean, we all did it. Let's call this one the... Mm, we'll do... Uh, oh, you can't do umlauts. Moon with an umlaut. Or moon, rather. Okay. Let's see. I wonder I wonder if I could... You know what? I'm going to try to get up without the... Uh, without the jetpack. He's going to... He's going to continue to slide around. Or moonwalk, as it were, I suppose. Look at him. <laughs> Yellow goofball. Okay, sorry. Sorry. A little distraction there. It always gets really laggy when I get here on the moon. I don't know why. I mean, it's only rendering thousands of square miles of... Oh, crap. I can't... I can't do the ladder now because I'm not in the ship. Real bright, Mr. Nameless Kerbin. Man. All right, let's go on up there. I wonder if he can do it manually. I've never. Uh, oh, he can. Uh. Well, great. Well, get on in there. <laughs> Good job. Way to do everything backward. <laughs> All right, board. Who's board? All right, let's. No, the ladder, the ladder, the ladder, the ladder. There we go, retract the ladder. All right, back into EVA, or IVA view. And let's get home uh, with our massive amounts of fuel that we have left. Should be plenty. Where was this, where was this earth at? It's over there. So we wanted to do, actually that works out perfectly, I think. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and jettison this uh, stage. It's just gonna be holding us back. Whoa, steady she goes. Mm, just like shooting Whomper hats on my T16 back home. So Pull the music with my own voice. That'll be good for now. All right. Now, with any luck, we'll have enough fuel not to die on the way home. We.
up and away. So I don't know, like, after this, uh, not that there aren't plenty of challenges, uh, left. But what I should do now... I, I still think it would be cool to have a, uh, challenge where we try to do docking and stuff. Like maybe a Lunar, lunar Orbit Rendezvous using IVA only. We may have to have some mods for that, just because I don't know if there's enough information to do it without losing your sanity. I'm sure if you know math and how to do addition and more complicated things, it can be pulled off without too much trouble, but okay, so there we go. All right, we're out of there. So Earth is over here. Ah, oh, there's a site. So we're just going to zip along at the speed of God. And as soon as our speed reaches zero, our vertical speed, rather, then we will do our thing where we... You know what? That's assuming we're not careening out into space. No. No way. No, look at us. We're way over there. <laughs> We're just, uh... <laughs> Whoa. Oh, boy. Now we've gone and done it. All right. Yeah, well, we've we've uh, <laughs> looks like we've exited Kerbin's uh, sphere of influence. It's never a good thing. Well, crap! There's definitely not enough Delta V to undo this. I suppose we could always wait and see. Hmm. <laughs> well, I suppose that counts for something. Now, to be frank, I'm not entirely sure how that happened. But then I also don't know how to do anything concerning rocket physics or anything like that. Maybe I should have quick saved. Fly home, little Kerbin. Oh. Oh. Well, I suppose that about wraps this up. Just for good measure. Let me speed through time here. Oh, you know what? That might make me make me the biggest idiot of all time. <laughs> there it goes. Come on. Wait, come back. Don't leave me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well. Anyway, that's that. <laughs> the end. Goodbye, Kerbin. Goodbye, Moon. Goodbye, Minmus. And of course, I uh, had to go back and try, couldn't leave well enough alone, had to try it again. Uh, so this is me back on the moon. Gonna go over here, plant my flag, and hop back in the ship in a moment, and we'll take off. Nothing too exciting, but I just had to make sure uh, I knew I could do it properly without sending my carbon out to, you know, lunar or uh, solar orbit. Uh, 
this is all. I was trying to uh, get my speed up opposite the side of the Earth so that my orbit would I'd break over it with the moon on the side facing the Earth, which is the part I screwed up the time before. I, I left on the wrong side, I figured out. So this is uh, coming in here at pretty high speed because I was out of boosters at this point. And uh, I didn't know if my ship was going to break apart, but uh, it didn't, so everything went well. Nothing, just standard reentry entry fare. So, uh, thanks for checking out my video. Uh, be sure to check out Phil's uh, video, Raving Idiot. Uh, check the link in the description. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.